Welcome everybody. Yes. So this is the part where we will talk about uh, using RBD solver to demolish this uh, walking bridge. So as you can see, uh, it, com uh, it consists of multiple parts. There's this static part, so it doesn't uh, act to the simulation, but it will uh, affect the others. And we have also this floor that's already fractured and we have this line also fractured and all is falling down to this uh, ground it will be a part of a series but this is the part uh, we'll talk about setting up the RBD solver <coughs> it's a walkthrough very easy to set up straightforward no complication hopefully you will like it so this go inside <coughs> so this is the file I brought it from 3ds max I just selected it and export as an FBX no as an OBJ yeah I didn't include the material I transform it properly and match size to put it on the ground so it's exactly sitting on the ground because I'm using the minimum after that This is the part I uh, created the flip fluid. So um, the flip fluid is uh, should be here. So I removed it. See, so this is will be the pool where the water will be that the bridge will collapse and fall on and create the splashes. So I removed it. After that, I created another normal and I blast the remaining there is. So I'm starting from here. After that, I split it. So the split is uh, so this is the split, and uh, as you can see, it's closed geometry water tight. Hopefully. No, it's not close. Yeah, that's why we need to extrude it so it can uh, simulate better. Otherwise, it's, it would be because it's creating a hole. Okay, so then I split it. This is the first part that is not simulated. It will be closed, uh, static. So active is zero. So I call it as a group. I call it fix. And the second part that is. Uh, full chunks but uh, no need to fracture it from side it just fall down as a whole piece for each one for, uh, for just for demonstration but if you are creating it for production or uh, for real you will fracture it properly using a grid and boolean fracture and here is the geometry that we are breaking as a whole so it will be small pieces everywhere so here I added the uh, RBD material fracture because it will do all the work. See, because here I didn't ex 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 uh, pull ex extrude, so many errors. Later I will fix it, but just for demonstration, just to show. So here it is. And because it's from far away, so and no material yet, so it's, it's okay. Yeah, I can get away with it. So this one is uh, fractured and. Uh, Let's call it floor. So it is uh, separated from the others. And here, I didn't, I didn't fracture. See here, RBD material fracture. Here, I added RBD configure, and I'm telling Houdini to set active for all these parts, so they are all active. Okay. And this one, it goes to the colliding uh, geometry. Here, you can use RBD, what is it? RBD back. RBD back, so you can connect, combine it all together, and use RBD back here, and then you use RBD and back. 
here so it will split back so this for organization and saving is good but because it's just a small part so it was okay so this one goes to the geometry this one goes for the constraint this is the constraint and this is the proxy geometry even they are low poly and here is the rbd solver as you can see if i run it but before that i added the rest of the geometry which consists of the fixed group that's not moving and here when i blast i make bounding reference divide it transform it to create the bool and transform again so it, this one is bigger than this see a little bit bigger then I do boolean subtract and I convert it let me just remove this one so we have the bool here okay and if you see here we have the top that we can use it to guide the water then I will extrude the edges and a little bit of edit just to make it go down but uh, I end up with this triangle so I just added another boxes on both sides and combine it all together maybe I need to add one here anyway well, this would be from far like this then I will transform it a little bit up I call it a wall and make a VDB from it because the VDB will be included in the flip solver so you spend most of your time just preparing before you send okay so here I took it all I merge it and I add it to the RBD solver so here in the visualization if you display the visualization geometry it will show you everything See? why because uh, in the solver in the collision I, uh, initially it will be convex hull so convex hull uh, this will be closed so I made it as a concave just to counteract the holes in here okay so visualization zero so I remove the visualization here let's give it a run see it will act and go down as you can see here so it's falling down accordingly and uh, let's stop it so it will hit the bridge let me add the visualization so it's hitting the bridge and falling down let's go up under like this like this so it go down like this okay so a quick simulation just to show something to react with the water I cache it so this is the cache and oh, just cancel so this is the cache then I unpack it added the normal merge it with everything else and I apply just the white material yeah. so this is the first part thank you